Howdy y'all, welcome to uh, another video with your favorite Puma. Today we're going to be discussing the Tunisia update um, that came to the game yesterday. And I apologize for being late on this. Although in a way I'm kind of happy I was a little bit late. Um, and we'll get to that in a minute. So, Battle of Tunisia. Big thing that came, awesome, like, long-awaited, uh, most people I think are excited, I can't really speak for them, because I'm not most people, anyway, I can only speak for myself on that, I was awaiting it, and I'm super excited it's here, uh, let's see, so, little video here, there, you could probably find it in the, you can look up this information in the link in the description, but I'm going to display something that I have noticed before we get to everything in this video that I don't know if anybody else has noticed. Notices the buses? Anyone? Back, back. See buses? Oh, they're full of troops too. So I just wanted to point that out real quick that it looks like you can drive buses. And so. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of these videos out there already where people read to you the whole thing. Uh, you know what, I'll read it to you and I'll do that towards the end. I guess, maybe, I don't know. Nah, what the heck. CBT long-awaited Battle of Tunisia campaign launched and listed for the first time. Update squad and Italians. British forces will participate as part of the Axis and Allies. Wait. What? Oh. Squads of Italian and British. Oh, speaking of which. While we're talking about the Axis and the Allies, notice that it says Axis and Allies, and I totally called this on a Discord. I don't think I said it on YouTube, though. Um, I totally called it on a Discord, not making this up. Um, but I said that uh, I think that because it's listed Allies and Axis, or Axis and Allies, that it's going to be... Notice that it doesn't specifically say Germany, USA, or USSR, Germany. It says Allies and Axis, or Axis and Allies. So, it's... You, you could see a, let's say Normandy, you could see a U.S. squad, and this might explain some of the British weapons inside there, too. You're going to see a bunch of U.S. squads and everything, and then you might have a British squad, or British squads, coming to the game um, in the campaign, which would meet in, and then you can add that to your squad list and then you have other vehicles which would um, thinking about that that also would help with the progression because the United States currently cannot go much higher than the jumbo 76 whiskey in armor for uh, Normandy we saw that with the test drive before they updated it um, they, they had the 76 whiskey in there. But to continue, they have... So the vehicles that they've displayed, the Germans are getting the Jag Panther. That's confirmed. It's going to Normandy. But we're not going to discuss that. We're talking about Tunisia today. And, well, the update that it is with. I guess I'll talk about what I was just talking about at the end of the video. Uh, CBT of the long way... Da, 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 da. Missions! First Battle of Tunisia will take place... In, in a large African city, from the videos I've seen, I'd say it's more of a town. <laughs> Near a picture... Yeah. I don't know how to pronounce you at this moment. I'm probably going to think I'm crazy later when I reread it or hear somebody say it. And I'm going to go, oh! Because <laughs> for whatever reason I can't read that. Gorge. It features a large city center with many buildings and marketplaces above them who control the market controls the city I don't know about that one in the gorge beside a number of beautiful places by a river uh, sorry um, do, 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 do. Beautiful places of our fights will be taking place over a bridge that links up the river shores and clever strategic points to discover benefits of using fast motor boats 
that can carry up to nine soldiers. Well, that's... Okay, that explains the boats. That makes the boats helpful. Squads, weapons, and crafts. Um, CBT will be... Uh, so, the in terms of vehicles, we get the Grant. Wait. Yeah, we get the Grant, and then we get the... Uh, Stug counterpart. The... For the Italians. Pretty much a Stug. And then, of course, you get the motorcycles, which are here. Oh, speaking of motorcycles. Oh, um, look at this pretty picture of the map. It looks like we got a bit of sand. And, eh. <laughs> Actually, what am I talking about? That looks epic. You gotta be careful of language. Mm -hmm. Wanted to participate? Well, if you want to participate in the Tunisia campaign, um, you can only get it for $50, and you get two motorcycle squads. One is an American squad, I've heard. Well, the other one is a German squad. So, there goes that thing of saying that the multiple squads. So, they were talking about how in li how it's going to be Axis is going to be Italians, and then Allies is going to be British. But it also looks like we have America and we have Germany for squad uh, in there as well. So, you have German squads and Italian squads that you can get in the campaign. Will probably be accessible inside the campaign, and same with... U.S. and England for the other. And yes, that's right. A whopping $50 USD for two squads. Honestly, I'm waiting for it to come out with where I can buy one squad for 25 bucks. I'd prefer that. Battle of Tunisia, four-wheeled squad. Oh yeah, and apparently the shovel is only usable inside Tunisia at this time. Um, squads of two soldiers, yeah, I pretty much covered that. You can watch some other stuff for that. Testing in progress. Testing the... Testing will take place in the battle against other players. Of course it will. Wait, does that mean that we might take place against bots? Hmm. CBT participants help us fine-tune the missions, weapons, and vehicles of the campaign before it is open to for everyone actually that's probably what they do for the uh, for the alpha testing before it goes to closed beta so they're sitting there probably making armies of bots and then battling bots um on occasion other players the first stage of c actually going back on that you actually 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 do i say actually enough i don't know let me do know down in the comments Maybe make a list of how many times I've said actually. That'd be interesting. Um, so, the first stage of CBT. I let you decide on what that means. The campaign progress is switched off and all participants get a fixed set of squads of all types, including the premium squad from early access bundle. That includes your motorcycles. Okay, sweet. And for those that keep saying they're worthless... I disagree. They are awesome. They can. They're they're used for rapid redeployment, shock and awe, etc. Um, second stage of closed beta test. Game progress is unlocked. I'm interesting. They're saying that so soon. Does that mean we're going to get to the second stage sooner? Hmm. Maybe progress unlocked, and all participants start from level one. At this point, the test progression system balance squads and vehicles also your achievements and progress will not be wiped hold on will not be wiped as transition into open beta test not be wiped okay so that that makes closed beta test an advantage that's pretty good Additionally, by participating in the Battle of Tunisia campaign, you can complete regular battle tasks. Once the CBT is over, it will become available to all players for f free. Goodness. Leave your feedback. We always are keen... Or we are always keen to hear your feedback. Every comment has a potential to help make the game better so if you have the time let us know your thoughts well i guess i'm going to give you my thoughts i think this is awesome um can't wait i don't think i'll be purchasing this because it's a little pricey 
I'll, I'll go for the individual squads when they come out. Um, so, full change list. I'll let you guys read through that as we go through. Ooh, that looks pretty. I'm pretty sure this is about the bomb. Mission location, half of that is Tunisia. Weapons and soldiers. There we go, the exact list of weapons. Do, 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 do. Wait, that is that copyright? Oh no. Skill points increase the soldiers performance. Graphical interface. Other fixes and improvements. So I'm just gonna say that show you that and then I'm gonna scroll up here and I'm gonna look at this pretty picture. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna look at that pretty picture. And I'm going to talk about what is here and what is missing. So what they have also included with this update is they have included the implementation of... You can now dig with the shovels, and you can only do that in Tunisia at this time. You can... The bombs were reworked so that they do an upwards cone and go into the ground a little bit and not just out. Um to make it more realistic is I really don't know how bombs work in reality so I mean I do but I actually no no I don't I rephrase that entirely I don't know anything about bombs <laughs> I know it goes boom that's what I know uh, and I don't think I want to know more <laughs> so the anyway participate I want to participate uh, do, 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 do. what is there? They have added the smoke artillery option to the calling artillery strike. Pers I have not tested it myself. Apparently it's there. And, actually I'm pretty sure it's listed down here at the bottom. Smoke artillery somewhere. Oh well. Anyway, the, they add the smoke artillery for calling an artillery strike via radio operator. Informing you guys so you don't think it's uh, they're adding some new artillery gun for indirect fire. No, they're not doing that. It's all radio operator still. Would It would be kind of cool to see indirect fire artillery though, other than just a mortar. Um, you have the... Goodness, what am I trying to think of? They've added a lot... But at the same time, they're missing the stuff I was waiting for the most. At least one of the biggest things I was waiting for the most. Eh, I can't think of the other stuff they added. I'm sure you can find them everywhere. I know it's written down below. So the... Cause they, oh, and beforehand, I did read this thing before. Uh, that's how I know that the stuff is there. So the... Uh, da -da -da, what is missing, though? What could possibly be missing? Well, they did a dev blog about uh, boosting progress, custom battles. You know, this, this this little thing right here, custom battles. I do believe that was supposed to come in this update. I could be wrong. Custom lobby, da, da, da. lone fighter mode will switch completely. I don't know. Anyway, it's supposed to be coming out at some point. That's missing in action. The I haven't tested it with an AT gun, although I did not see it listed in here. The, the AT was mobile yet. I probably should go look that up. They have also not a included the uh, weapons sending uh, ability, and they have not added the... They have not had the economic changes to the game where they remove various things and add new things. They have not ch done that yet. So we got most of the update, I think, but we're still missing some. Um, I guess stay tuned and we'll find out. Um, let me see, what else was I going to tell? Oh yeah, so you have that, you have that. Oh yeah, so going back to the tanks that we were talking about earlier, I guess. Uh, Tunisia is going to be great. I think the highest the Germans will ever get is the Tiger 1, because that was in Battle of Tunisia. Um, at least that's where Tiger 131 came from, I'm pretty sure. North Africa, anyway. Or, North. Ha! Huh. You know, like, English. North. There we go. North Africa. And... 
And also, when are you adding the stug to the game? I know it's in the game, but when can I have it? I want stug. <laughs> uh, squad weapons. Yep, so I guess that concludes our video for today, guys. And uh, this is the Puma, and I'm going to go back into hiding. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, wait. How do I? Oh, yeah. Dirt.